<laughs> hey guys, or should I say howdy, from Austin, Texas. So before we lived in Seattle, I lived in Austin for 16 years. And I was here for almost 10 years and we're so excited to show you around today. So excited. Yeah. So today we're gonna take you to a good amount of our favorite spots in town. We're gonna go to tons of food trucks. We're gonna go see the sites and just try to show you everything that makes Austin special and one of our favorite cities in the world. Um, disclaimer, it's gonna be a really busy day. We're kind of going bam, 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 because we only have one day off from working on the van and we wanna do as much as possible yeah. and show you as much as possible, but we don't recommend necessarily doing everything we're doing today in one day. Um, it'll be really busy. It's gonna yeah. be like speed dating yeah. Austin, but it's gonna be really fun. Um, if you want more ideas of things to do in Austin that we're not showing today, because there's so many, uh, check out our Austin guide, which I'll link to below. But I think we're ready to get started. I'm ready. I'm so excited. Let's go. I'm hungry. <laughs> Nom, 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 can't wait. <laughs> is at Valentina's Tex-Mex Barbecue. Now, I'm gonna preface what I'm about to say about this place with a couple things. So, nothing in life gives me more joy than my wife, my dog, and my family. But this restaurant has a close, very close second. <laughs> so, uh, if you have like one hour to spend in Austin or you're coming to Austin to do one thing, my honest opinion is come here because it's just, it's my favorite restaurant in the world. Favorite, it's my favorite food. I love food so much and this is a mecca for me. It's Mexican food, Tex-Mex, barbecue, all together. And it just makes me so happy, so. No joke, he cries about this place, or he almost cries at least. He gets so excited, he's so passionate about this place. So I'm really excited that we get to kick off our vlog with his favorite spot in the whole entire world. So I got my favorite taco of all time. It's the smoked brisket taco. It's chopped brisket with, there's a little guacamole, salsa, lime, but the tortillas is what sets it off is they make the tortillas here or they're homemade at least, um, but they're made with the fat from the brisket. So it's just unreal. <laughs> and then there's this one, it's the real deal Holyfield. If you know anything about this place, you probably heard of it. It's like a breakfast taco. So uh, they serve till 11, right? Breakfast. Yeah, 11. Uh, so it's got refried beans on the bottom, potato, salsa, an egg, bacon, and then a fat strip of bis uh, brisket. And I'm pretty sure I've had it before. I know it's delicious just from all the toppings and things. So it's, let's, let's just get this on. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, it's just a massive monster. Look at, oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> This is, this is unreal. So we've been coming here for years and we first came here when they were at their other location, which was a much smaller kind of, now they have this, this whole, like all these smokers and this big in like kind of covered seating area, this seating area. Um, so we've been coming here for a very long time. I don't even know how we found out about it, but we've been hooked ever since. They also have really good queso. I just want to point that out because queso is um, so we've been coming here for a really long time and they're kind of located a little bit out of town So I always tell people to come here when they're like, where should I go in Austin? But I do tell them like it is a little bit of a trek. It's not right in downtown, but it is worth the drive 110% also this place is definitely becoming more popular. Uh, they were just featured on diners drive-ins and dives So I'm sure they're gonna get even more popularity, which we're very happy for them But we also love like this was kind of like our hidden gem for a bit, but yeah Adam loves this place. I also love this place. I think he loves it more than I do but it's can't beat it. So I got just breakfast taco with brisket and then the smoked brisket as well. And it's just, it's so good. The brisket's really good. This is always the worst part of that last bite. Another thing that makes this place special to me is they're big soccer fans here as I am. So for major games like Champions League final, El Clasico, stuff like that, They'll show the game in their covered area back there, and also they'll offer free chips and queso. So you can just rock up, enjoy chips and queso, get a 
a drink and a taco and it just sounds awesome. Haven't been able to enjoy that yet, but one day I'll get there. <laughs> And now it's time for coffee, which we always say this, but it's really much needed. We are struggling. We always struggle at the beginning of the vlogs. We're always very tired, but we always pep up a bit. So Summer Moon is our favorite coffee shop in Austin, or at least one of our favorite coffee shops in Austin. They have eight locations in actual Austin, and they have some locations now outside of Austin too. So it's a chain, but it's a local chain. And when we first started going to Summer Moon, I think there was only one location. And it was just actually pretty close to where we are right now. We're at their trailer and we've never been to the trailer before but to keep with our whole like trailer theme of today uh, we thought we'd check this location out so the reason we love summer moon is because they have this thing called moon milk and it's a secret recipe i don't know what's in it my friend thinks there's pedialyte in it so i don't really know but it's basically this like sweet and creamy milk that they use to make lattes um, they have these things called a summer moon latte or a winter moon which is an iced summer moon latte and those are really really sweet so just warning if you come here the moon milk is very sweet but delicious uh, you can also get like a half moon or a quarter moon I'd say a quarter moons more like our sweetness level but lately what we've been doing is just getting Americanos and adding moon milk in and it's like the perfect balance like sweet and you can still taste the coffee it's just so good and I'm so tired and so excited to have this today a little less than ideal today. We were hoping for lots of sunshine, which oh, is starting to, get to out come out. The, hoping to get on the water, maybe. Yeah, but right now it's a little gloomy. It's been a little drizzly, but they said, they said on the weather this week that it was going to start like that and it was going to get nice, so we're going to kind of just kill some time until it gets a little nicer out and go check out the Texas State Capitol. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Austin is the capital of the state of Texas and it became the capital in 1840. And growing up we'd always been told like, oh it's taller than the US capital, which is true. But apparently <laughs> others are as well. So it's the sixth tallest state capital in the United States. I believe if I remember correctly, the one in Baton Rouge is the tallest. So not everything's bigger in Texas, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we like to think that sometimes. So growing up, the thing was that you come into the Capitol and then you stand underneath the like the dome and you just spin around. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Ooh. Dizzy. Ooh. It's fun though. So they have free tours that you can take in the Texas State Capitol, but we've always just kind of wandered around on our own. And one of our favorite things besides spinning underneath the dome is to go to the Senate chamber. It's just really cool to see. There's never been anything happening while we're in there, but it's just cool to see where all the magic happens. The sun is out. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> the sun's coming out, so we're gonna go in the water. Back when we lived here in Austin, Town Lake is one of the our favorite places we used to like to come to run, walk around, just check out. It was fun. Yeah, so we call it Town Lake, but apparently it's now called Lady Bird Lake. So just keep that in mind in case you're like, what's Town Lake? Yeah. But that's what it was called back in the day. So that's what I'm still calling it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go kayaking, oh. which I'm really excited about because we don't do that very often, even in Seattle. And it's really fun to do. We're just going to cross our fingers that we don't drop the camera ah, in the right. water <laughs> or flip over or anything. We're doing it! So far, we have not dropped the camera. Nah, we're, good. <laughs> we're good. It's a little windy, but it's good. Despite it being called Town Lake or Lady Bird Lake, it's actually just a river. The river's really wide, and there are no like motorized boats that come on here, so it's pretty calm waters if you want to go stand up paddleboarding or kayaking. Yeah. 
So like we mentioned, coming out on Town Lake is one of our favorite things to do in Austin. There's also some other water stuff in Austin that's really fun to check out. There's Barton Springs Pool, which is this spring-fed pool that's 60 something degrees year round and it's like ice cold. It's, whew, it's brutal. You just gotta like jump into it. There's also a pool called Deep Eddy Pool, which is pretty fun to go to too. So our biggest tip in Austin when it's really hot is just go find some water and you will feel much better. That was a blast. So fun, and we didn't fall in. Yeah. Woo! Score <laughs> So we've worked up an appetite now. And we are at Paperboy, which is a food trailer. So one thing we wanted to mention is just how much we love like, the food truck, food trailer culture in Austin. It's one of the reasons why we love it here so much because we love to eat food. And food trucks and trailers are our favorite place to eat because they're just really casual. They're usually pretty quick. You don't have to just like sit and wait forever for like a waiter. Um, usually a little bit cheaper. So we just love it. And we love how, like, how creative all the food trucks and trailers are in Austin. So, Paper Boy is, I'm not really sure like how to describe it, but it's kind of like brunch food. So we got this thing called the Texas Hash, I believe, and it has like pork, sweet potatoes, like a some sort of mole sauce, it's like kale, came with a poached egg, which we got on the side. And we also got this like cheesy hash brown thing. It kind of looks like a potato pancake. So I'm really excited. I've heard from so many people that this place is awesome, but we've never tried it. So we thought, why not try it today? Oh yeah. Mm, that meat's really good. The egg. You're missing out. I know you can't have it, but you're missing out. The sweet potatoes are good. To grandmother's house we go. <laughs> over the bridge and through the woods. To grandmommy's house we go. Down the street and up <laughs> the road. To grandmother's house we go. Head to our belly. <laughs> We came to see Granny at Granny's Tacos. I got me a Topo Chico with a twist of lime in there. I got the, this is the Campechano. It has steak, avocado, salsa, onion, cilantro. Chorizo. Chorizo, mmm, goodness. And then I've also got the Rico Taco. This has mole with chicken and rice in there. I'm really excited to try this one. And I got the abuela taco, but not in a taco because they didn't have corn tortillas today. And I hear their corn tortillas are homemade and they're amazing, so I'm a little sad, but it's okay. Adams look really good with the flour tortilla. And so normally, whenever we're in Austin, we go to Torchy's Tacos. It's our favorite, we love their queso. But we thought we'd switch it up today because we've already had Torchy's on a previous vlog. And it's just good to try new things. And we honestly could have eaten tacos all day, but we're trying to diversify the vlog, the vlog a bit. So um, yeah, excited to give, see what Granny's all about. First up, the Campechano. Granny knocked that one out of the park. <laughs> Next up is the Rico. I've never really had mole, I don't think, so I'm excited to try it. That's just comforting, it's really good. Nice and soft. So what's the verdict? I think we should add it to our long list, growing list of <laughs> A plus K approved taco joints. Yeah, that was delicious. Shout out to Granny, she did a great job. The abuela yeah. taco, although I could not have it on an actual tortilla, was super flavorful and good. So highly recommend all three different types of tacos oh, we tried here. Top notch. Even my mom just got like some grilled veggies. They looked amazing too. Yeah. And their salsas were so good. Yeah. So yeah, shout out to Granny. Shout You're out. killing it, Granny. <laughs> Another one of my favorite things to do in Austin is to come to South Congress and walk around. Yeah, so South Congress is probably like a mile long street, but really close to downtown. You can walk from Town Lake, you can walk from downtown. It's just full of like shops and restaurants. It's a great place to just spend the day eating and drinking. Yeah. So we'll probably eat more while we're here, drink yeah, more at least. <laughs> and there's lots of cool beer dogs. We 
caved and we got some more coffee because why not? It's really hot out, so I got an iced Americano in this place called Menana, which we really love. It's on South Congress, behind like the South Congress Hotel. It's a little hidden and hard to find, but it's one of our favorite coffee shops in Austin because not only is the inside super cute, but the coffee's really good too. things I've ever seen. I put the biggest smile on my face. So we broke our food truck rule. Our unofficial food truck rule. We got really hot. We really wanted ice cream. So we're at Sweet Ritual, which is our favorite vegan ice cream place in uh, Austin. Just so good. I got the peanut butter chocolate. And, oh, Cookies and cream for it. me. And they have a gluten-free cone. Yeah. Mm, cheers. So excited. Hell yeah. So our last food stop of the day is Goteco, which is a Brazilian street food truck. I've been wanting to come here for years. I've had it bookmarked on Yelp for years, but we just never branch out and try new stuff, which is why today's been so exciting. <laughs> it looks so good. Heck yeah, this is like our kind of thing. We got the, let me, hold on, let me cheat on this one. Pequinha grelhada. Uh, it's steak in there, there's beans, there's an egg, there's rice, there's... It's like a pico. Pico kind of thing. And then and there's then this... Um, farofa. Thing, farofa, which farofa. is like, I just looked up, it's kind of like a ground um, cassava flour or crispy, I don't know. I it's don't like remember. toasted, you said. Yeah, toasted cassava like flour or toasted. corn flour. Yeah. So, cool, add a little crunch to it. Yeah. And then we also got, is it yuca fries? Yeah. Yeah, with some like... Uh, chimichurri aioli. Yeah. So yeah, I'm so excited. It looks, this good. Place. It looks so good. Mm. Ah. I think. Wow. Well, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say this was the. I think this is the best meal of the day, but that's not true. Because <laughs> <laughs> Valentina's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Greenies Tacos is really good, but outside of Valentina's, this has been the best thing. The steak is delicious. The egg on there, the rice, the beans, and then this like farofa, farofa stuff is like salty and just like. I don't know, it, adds, it, it goes with the beans really well because it's like a dry thing with the, all the moisture that's going on. It's really it's an awesome combo. I love this. Also, these fries are so good and they're so hot and fresh. And they have this awesome um, aioli that came with it. I can't have it, but from what I've heard from the others at the table... It's good. It's good. Our last stop of the day is to watch sunset on top of Mount Bunnell. Which is our favorite place to watch the sunset in Austin. It has awesome views, but it's also all of Austin's favorite place very to watch the sunset. Busy. <laughs> very, very busy. But first, we have to go up 102 steps. This is by far the busiest I've ever seen it. <laughs> so even though those crowds were just like at Disneyland, it was still an awesome sunset. So glad we came. For and sure. I can't really blame everyone for wanting to be here. It's an awesome spot. We would just maybe recommend not coming on a holiday weekend like yeah. we are. Maybe check out a weeknight. I think that might be better, but still really awesome. Yeah. Uh, thanks for following along. We hope you enjoyed all the places we went to. We sure did. Yeah. Um, and if we miss any spots that you love to come to in Austin that we didn't get to, um, please leave them below. We'd like to find out about them and check them out in the future. Check them out and suggest them to other people too. So. And as we mentioned earlier at the beginning of the vlog, we do have an Austin guide on our website website which has a ton of other places oh, yeah. that we did not go to today that we yeah. recommend so check that out if you're headed to Austin sometime soon or if you live in Austin yeah. and you want new ideas but that's it for Austin yep, yep. now the rest of the trip we're gonna work on the van <laughs> bye y'all bye y'all
done a dance on the vlog in a while. The vlog's been missing my dancing. It's hot. It's very hot, but it's very delicious. It's lit. <laughs> there he is, the man, the myth. Oh no! <laughs> so another major. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get him. Adam just saw the owner and Adam has a crush on the owner and he's having a little fangirling moment. 